Here comes Evade around this corner, and Roy's gonna get shot in the back, manages to get away there, and here comes Flamesword around the corner, Flamesword with some good shots, and Evade oh, gets taken down! Flamesword still Ooh. got it on the sticks, baby! There's Ooh. a bit of a bag! Look at that. More kills. Oh, he's shown across the stage as well! Flame is here to play! The grenades going to top gold here, you can see. Gun time. Oh, oh, heels! Roy off. He wanted him to strike that blue window. Looking towards a jump up now. Very confident. Across the oh my word! Ready for the jump! Gun, Gun type. type knows what he's doing you here. animal! That is a disgusting shot, predicting! Neck and neck here, of course, off the break. Two to one, an early lead for the guys on Optic. But Flame doing his thing on the power up as well. So, uh, so excuse me, uh, uh, now tying up the game. Oh, great shots across map though. But Gun Type gets taken down! And that's the roar from the beard! Do not challenge me, son. I've still got it. Look, I don't see how Roy and Flame can really let this go. Yeah, especially the way that they were playing with a one kill lead. And oh my word, look at this. Flame Sword with a double kill. I heard sniper bullets flying. And Flame Sword looking for the triple. Yeah! Oh, he just, just missed, missed out it. momentarily. But Flame Sword, that is what we want to see here on the main stage. All right, well, here we go. And they're just going to lift right over to that sniper tower there and force him all the way back. Immediately, though, you're going to get that first kill out of there. And Woo! already we're just seeing some spikes thrown down there, Dan. They hear him lifting up. Gabriel's going to be one shot. He has a teammate there. He's able to take one out. Oh, the mauler. But they're able. No, he runs away. Did he get him? He's low. He's looking around. Bails out. Still one kill. Oh, my word. We got 41 seconds left in this game, Gaskin. That no scope was absolutely huge from Fantasy, and he's been able to escape with a sniper rifle as well. You can see he's scouting around. He's looking for spawns. Needs oh. to be careful here. Needs to stay alive with only 30 seconds left. But he's being pushed from both angles. He got pushed. He got pushed, but he's able to trade out. He's able to trade out, and his teammate gets the 23rd kill. 18 seconds remaining. And one time, it looked like they were going to win it one time, but not today. Seconds Game funny. one is going to go to GMS. In five seconds, nothing that they can do, but what a conclusion to that Guardian matchup. <laughs> I'll take any help I can get, GB. I preach to the choir, baby. And, and, and Clutch is up there. He'll probably tell you. Oh! oh! What was that? The double kill from Fantasy! Oh! <laughs> oh! Holy! Keep it going, cow. Papa! Keep it going! Ooh, and Flamesword's gonna get picked. Now it's just gonna be a one on two with Roy. I don't know where Roy is at. Roy is actually pushing towards snipe Roy. side and gave away his position, so I think that's why Fantasy has run away. Fantasy, however, runs into Roy, gets the no scope, and gets Roy to one shot. Gabriel trying to desperately finish that shot, and it looks like he was getting flanked over by Flamesword, so Flamesword can pick up that one. That is a what? big mistake. Roy was crouch walking as he went across the lift. You will sometimes miss that lift like that. Oh my and god. You don't want to do that here on main stage, especially when you're up by one. But Back luckily he makes that. up for it with a grenade. Oh. 30 my seconds. God. They're gonna hunker down. They have to just hold a strong position. They know one player is here on this blue ramp. I would love to see them collapse on that, especially since they know the players coming up. That is going to be good. That is a huge grenade. Flame is in some trouble. He just buy some time. Gonna duck over into here. The other thing I saw, a decent amount getting over Double into second. Double sticky to win it. Double stick. Oh my god. <laughs> right. They put just Flame in the same in his arm. What? Oh my god. I was just gonna say. 23 to 23. We're all tied up. 42 seconds remaining on the clock. Battle going up at P2. Fantasy sticks his head. He wants to get involved. Flame Star gets pushed out. Roy's down the bottom. Has to be careful now. One kill game. They have the lead. Two players They're pushing it. in. They fancy this one. They're looking for Roy. Roy's there. Gets it. Gabriel and Fantasy are going to the grand finals. You know what? I heard so much about gun type, about Evader. I was expecting so much. I think we might see a breadstick at the moment for one of them as well. Just the one kill as uh, it's now just one kill as well for one time to win this game. And uh, as Walsh would say back in the day, this is a uh, charge oh! because you can't lose. Taking down Evader, a snipe shot to the face. It looks like they're actually making a play. Maybe they're the expecting. Rockets. It's kind of the double bluff it. Yep. Rockets, you just have to drop. Great. Oh, oh my no! God! I oh think we might word. have just seen Roy's career ended for the second time. And you got Roy and Flame on one side, Tuscan, Master Fear on the other. Only one team will advance till tomorrow. Here we go then. 25 kills to decide who books their tickets to oh, our grand final. What? Flame Sword throws the Kobe and it lands and finds a target. Are you kidding me? Flame also cannons opening 
cross map stick into the enemy's snipe to get them both snipes as well as rockets. What a play there from Flame. Dude, this has been crazy. This has been full of montage shots and Flamesword. Roy manages to pick up the kill, though, on Master Fierce, and now he's going to have to back up a little bit. Flamesword's going to put him under pressure, and Flamesword Whoa. wins that battle against the Rocket player. Looks like Tusk was anticipating him jumping there from L1 to R1. Instead, Flame jumps backwards towards bottom middle. Great job by him to make sure to clean up that kill. And then Tusk moving down bottom middle should get the cleanup. Oh, no, oh, he doesn't! Flame sword. sword! The Guardian Angel keeps Roy alive! Saves the day, somehow manages to get the proximity of the splash damage of the rockets. There's all sorts of maths going on there. Just in the right place. I couldn't calculate that if I tried. But look at all the help now from Roy in the lobby. They should be able to clean this up. But oh, Flame Sword word. is ready for the cannon spawn. Right into Roy's hands. Roy misses the headshot there, top middle. Flame Sword's trying to push in and finish it off. Tusk is in a hard place, and again, Roy, what a finish coming in from him. 17 to 9 now. In field. Oh, oh my! my. Oh. No! He's off the map! He doesn't, but he care. doesn't care! He Roy does not care. is back! Oh my one! Has to plug his headset back in. Maybe had to plug the controller back in. Flame Sword now on the power up, just playing this one so well. Master Fear, though, with the rockets. They didn't go off the map. He kept them in his hands and he takes him down. One kill to go. Roy in a 1v1 with Tuscan. How many times have we seen it over the years? Roy wins a 1v1 BR fight. Optic Gaming. They're going to be in your grand finals. The last thing that I want to ask you is tomorrow, are you guys taking the show down? You never know, but there's uh, nobody that's going to go into champion championship Sunday more confident than me. So uh, we're going to come out and give it everything we got. Here comes the Mauler play coming in from Flame. Really love this, but where did the sneaky player from GMS go? Nowhere to be found. Rockets coming in. Oh, and that's so hard sometimes. You need the grenades and the rockets. Sometimes it can Five push you a little further than you might have oh. wanted to go in fantasy. Connects on one no-scope. Roy, this is the best thing about Roy. This is something we did on Straight Time. It's something we did on Instinct. Somebody gets a sick clip, you hide. You just don't want to give them the clip. <laughs> GMS, they're going to have to do something very smart here. They're going to have to pick up two kills, maybe bait the camo, and try to get this one. If they can win this game right here and go up two to zero, this is going to be a very difficult comeback for Optic Gaming. Basically, a must win right here for OG Roy. Looking for that player on over towards the snipe side. Keep in mind, Gabriel did make its blank. What a grenade coming in from Fantasy. Oh, that is very unfortunate for them. Oh. But oh my, the timing flame. It just isn't working out for him. That was a guaranteed win if he had the Mauler out, forcing to switch weapons to make it that up close range battle. Uh, you know, essentially bites him right there and doesn't work out in their favor. So we saw that last camo, it didn't get them a kill at all. Two smart plays coming in from Flame. So right there, there's the bait. Can he hit the... Woo! Got a little nervous right there. Got a little nervous. I thought he was going to get the spawn for his teammate up top. It looks like he also comes up down low. Not a good spawn right there, but immediately dropping down and helping. Smart play coming in. Flame going in for the beatdown. Jumps over the melee. Roy with the cleanup, also hitting a grenade at the same time. Gabriel backs down over towards the runway. Roy coming in with the flank with the rockets. You can see a player jumping over his head. Are they going to connect on the rockets? The snipe coming in. Trade for Gabriel and Roy's life, but the big thing is Fantasy <gasps> picked up full overshield right there with the sniper rifle. This is the first time we've seen a team get a pretty big advantage, but half of that overshield's gone. Nice job from Flame and Roy, kind of giving him a couple kisses on the cheek as he makes his way on over towards Sword. Yeah, I mean, this, oh, even Fantasy is starting to heat up. 15 bullets in the sniper rifle. We were talking about that ammo going in favor of GMS. Ooh, little haircut coming in from Flame, but Flame says, I haven't gotten my haircut in years. <laughs> Tom, I don't even know how to follow that one up. There's been a lot of unhappy players throughout the years, Tom, who get stuck in that situation. Curious to see what happens with this custom power up. Coming up the melee. Doesn't oh hit Gabriel my, right there. Oh, look at his face yeah. and the frustration. That's a hard one to take. That's, you heard the melee, but unfortunately does not work out. <laughs> That's a great gift, by the way. Everyone that wants to clip that one, zoom in. Let's get a good picture-in-picture picture gift right there, Flame Sword. <laughs> if it's going to come down to the time limit right here, so 1.30 on the clock, custom. It was picked up by GMS last time around that 15-second mark. So popping up here in the next 10 seconds, that's where this game is going to be decided. Roy, you can see he has a sniper in the back pocket. Fantasy going for the scope or off the wall, <gasps> and he does not connect on it. You can see Gabriel gets cleaned up. It was burned, though. Custom. Oh, no. Oh, Custom burned. pops up. Oh, my oh, goodness. My, that was the game. That literally could have been the game. He could have sealed it all, you know, completely it's sealed it. It's only one kill, though, Kyle. Flamesword has to do something with this overshield. They cannot afford to trade kills here. They have to go two for one, bare minimum. 44 seconds left. 
If you're Roy, yes, exactly what you want to do. Back off. Picks off Fantasy. Gabriel now. He has no weapons. He's stuck going against the Overshield guy. This is exactly what you want to do if you're Optic Gaming. You don't even have to challenge this. If you're Roy, you could totally bail on the fight, not give up any deaths, because keep in mind, if they pick up two right here, that's going to be 18 to 17. You do not want them to lose these fights, then come off spawn. Big kill from Roy. The time going to run out right here. Slow throughout the entire game, but entertaining nonetheless. Optic Gaming, they're going to reset the series. Oh. We've seen time and time again on that first Guardian Flame Sword able to put his head down grab that and escape. A little too early right there if you're fantasy on the grenades. You want to save those, but he makes up for it with a nasty no scope. Are you kidding me? Double kill for fantasy with the nasty snipe on over. Oh, man. Could have lined up a overkill. Are you kidding me? This yeah. guy is I'll impressing that right two now. Two for one headshots over. What, like just, just do Hon it. Honestly, he choked. What I want to see is basically what Flame Sword did in the previous series. He went on a killing frenzy, and this is the opportunity for Roy to shine. There's the killing spree coming in. He's gonna challenge. He's feeling it. Spots the elbow right elbow. there. And there it is. You gotta pull those elbows in. Oh, what a spawn! Oh, and the hands go off. No, that's so unfortunate. Wow. Fight me, Mike. Remember, they're the flag sniping too. Watch out, they're flying. And then long haul, long haul sniping. It's gonna be flat, maybe, Mike? Nope, nope, nope. You're still in there. Nice. Know. Probably went through long haul. Probably went through. Rockets, Mike. Watch court. Nice. Got court, baby. What it is? Overshield. Overshield's like a. It's on me. They last. 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 Watch me. Nope. Nice, Mike. I got full of us. I'm going run away. Just slip. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Just slip. Court's clear. Watch their cuts. Their cuts, background, background. Got one. Top turret, top turret, it should be a yeah. dude. He's there. He's there. hiding on the pocket. They know that at this point, they could even die and most likely try to get into another fight off the spawn and still be in a really good position. Instead, Fantasy <gasps> has to make it up. The rocket comes in onto flame. Ten they have to spot where Roy is, most likely in the mauler. But you have to be careful that you don't spawn your teammate over there either because he does have rockets over there. Roy with the mauler, no! not going to find him. And that's exactly what happens. Fantasy coming in with the double kill. Played it so slow if you're Optic Gaming right there. Tried to run out the time, but you have to know the spawns. You have to know the situation. 2-0 now for GMS. I saw that happening, Tom. I know you did as well. We're looking at each other. 10, 12 seconds left and your teammate gets taken out. Respawns are so fast in Halo 3. It's better just to go out there and challenge it for Roy yep. and get that spawn on over towards the courtyard side. The only way that you're going to lose that is if the rocket guy comes in. 13 to 12 game right here, perfectly in the mid game. If you don't do it right now and you're off to gaming, it's going to get very difficult because GMS is going to taste victory. But if you start getting aggressive, they're going to start shaking a little bit. Clutch was talking about how they were sweating a little bit during the Winners Winners Finals. So if you put that pressure on, you never know how they're going to respond. Fantasy coming in with a nice trade right there, but Roy going to be able to pick that one off. And the way Roy's challenging, I'm not sure that he's going to lose that fight. He really wants to go and try to impose his will with his shot. Unfortunate for Flamesford oh. right there. A little body disrespect. You know what? I don't like that if you're Gabriel. That is a horrible decision. The last thing that you want to do is try to get one of these guys pumped and Flames trapped underneath the base. Fantasy over challenging. Interesting grenades coming in from Flamesword. He realizes Gabriel's right behind him. Big fight going on over towards the side base of melee. What? Roy's going to make his way on over towards the Eli. Now you have a nice flank coming in. I like this aggression coming in, but he doesn't have any grenades to defend himself. Roy with the shots. Nice shots from Gabriel, though. Both players back and down. Flame Sword flying out. Needs to connect. You do have Fantasy helping out over towards the car side. Where's Roy going to be? You know the communication coming in tight for both teams, but you're down low right now. If you're GMS, you've got to get up top. Someone has to hit that lift. Someone has to push out either pink side or hit that lift, and that's exactly what they do. They both hit the lift. Smart play coming in from GMS. Yeah, that was a fantastic job between GMS to stay alive in that position. They were getting trapped. They are getting sandwiched. One of them was out in the open of the map, and it's actually going to be Gabriel that grabs this kill onto Flamesword. Now Roy being top center is completely oh, no. left out to dry. That was the game oh. right there. That was the game. It's so tough right now if you're Optic Gaming to come back from this because all it takes is one stick one trade. You have a better chance of coming back on that than you do on 24 to 22 because of just, the, the, you know, the unfortunate factor of one kill and it's over. You have to use these frag grenades if you're fantasy. That's exactly what he does. Roy coming in and getting aggressive. Does he stay alive? He does. Wow, oh great God. job getting over towards P3. Shocked that Gabriel didn't follow that one up. Instead, he's just going to live the fight. Another oh. day, Flamesword. No, what are you doing? He's trying to stay alive over towards bottom center. Where's the help from Roy? Fantasy charging in. 
very unfortunate for Optic Gaming right there, but you cannot take anything away from GMS. They are your Halo 3 MCC champions. I mean, it really comes down to, I don't know if it's Gabriel Fantasy, but one of them was able to stay alive in front of the base behind that box and retreat below the base. They both lift up together. Flamesword and Roy gets separated a little bit. Sandwiched in a 2-1-V.